Shalom everyone! Megan drinking tea here. I'm drinking chai tea. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I just saw Beauty and the Beast! And it was so good. Like seriously amazing. Better than I could have even hoped for. I loved it so much. I should probably just stop saying that I just love it and actually tell you why I love it. First of all, Emma Watson is amazing. She's so perfect for that role. She is the best. She's awesome. I love her. I'm gonna go watch everything else that she's ever been in now. All the songs, you know, they're sung by different people than the original songs, of course. So, it always sounds weird in my head, like it's not right because it's not the same voice as the original and so it's like messing with me and I can't really get over the fact that they're not sung by the same people except for the ones that Emma Watson sings those are just beautiful and amazing and they're my favorite songs ever now I'm gonna go buy them on iTunes and listen to them every day more about songs I like the songs that are new now when the first new songs started playing I was like, oh, do you have to add new songs? Just leave the movie the way it's supposed to be. You don't need to add new stuff. All the songs are perfect. But then, as more of them started playing, I was like, okay, I get it. It's, it's a new movie, even though it's a remake of an old movie. They're adding new songs, and the songs are good songs. And so I can appreciate the new songs. It's fine. And, yeah, it is a remake of an old movie but they have to they have to make it a little, little bit different or else it's just the same movie over again so I like that they could make it new and make it different while still doing justice to the original because the original is amazing and the live action just adds to that amazing. It's different, but it's done well. That's what I'll say. I'm not mad at them for anything that is different. Especially, like, some of the character developments I think were different. First of all, Gaston, we've got, who is, you know, he's supposed to be the villain, you're not supposed to like him. At all, and in the in the in the animated one, you don't like him at all. He's rude. He's arrogant. Nobody likes him. Well, okay, none of us like him. Everyone in the village likes him. None of us like him. But in this movie, he was sort of more likable at the beginning, don't you think? Like when he was he was more gentlemanly, I guess. Like when he when he first walked up to Belle in the animated movie, he's just like. Oh, what's this, a book? Why are you reading? How can you read something that doesn't have any pictures in it? And he throws the book in the mud. But in the live action, he like walks up and brings her flowers and he's like, Oh, that's a nice book that you're reading. And when she asks if he's read it, he like tries to relate to her by pretending that he's read books before, which he probably hasn't. And so I think that was interesting because I kind of liked Gaston at the beginning. Like, this is an okay guy. Of course he's conceited and... But, but 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 he's not a terrible person like halfway through the movie of course he became really dark and tried to murder Maurice and like <sighs> and then there's La Poo La Fou okay I always thought it was La Poo but apparently it's La Fou which is fine I've just been pronouncing it wrong my entire life La Fou is really cool in the animated movie, it's just the sidekick goes along with whatever Gaston is doing. In this movie, I feel like he's sort of like a fanboy for Gaston. And he's like, he's like so obsessed with him and following him around and stuff. And then he realizes at some point, this is getting a bit dark. I think this is a little more than I'm comfortable with Gaston. I don't think we should leave Maurice out in the woods to be eaten by wolves. I, I don't think we should lock up Belle and Maurice in an insane asylum. 
And in the end, he turns out to be one of the good guys in the, in the very end. Like, Lepu, you couldn't have switched sides earlier before they went to the castle and tried to murder the beast. But either way, he was sort of good in the end. And I liked that they gave Lepu a bit of a conscience. Because it just seems better that way. Not just a sidekick following blindly. I like it when that happens with sidekicks. Like, sidekicks actually get a conscience partway through the movie and end up being on the good guy's team. Another thing that was different was the Beast in the animated movie didn't know how to read. And they bonded over her teaching him to read, which I loved, of course. But I actually think I might like this better, where he did know how to read and they could relate to each other, I guess, a little bit over the fact that they're both total book nerds. I liked it, because actually it makes more sense, because the reasoning is good, like, pff, I'm a prince, I had an expensive education, of course I learned to read. Where's that in the animated movie? Why would the prince not know how to read? I just think it makes more sense, okay? Another small side note. I really want the dress that she wears for most of the movie, the like blue with the like red rose underneath, I don't know, I love it, I want this dress. My family says that the voice of Mrs. Potts sound a whole lot like the original, but I don't think so. I feel like her voice isn't very close to the original voice. Oh, but the worst singing voice in the entire show was the wardrobe lady singer person. Ugh, I couldn't stand her voice. Whether she was singing or whether she was talking, it was just cringy the whole time. I'm like covering my ears. I can't, can't take it. I can't take it. Stop talking. And I'm pretty sure the scariest part of the movie was the maestro's teeth. They were disgusting. That was the scariest part. I don't know why, but I liked the hair of Prince Adam after he was not a beast anymore and he was just dancing with Belle. His hair and a little ponytail with little ringlets and even like Gaston's hair. That that style that that guys at that time would wear with the with the little low ponytail in the back. I don't know. I just I just like it. <laughs> Not that I would necessarily want guys right now to wear that hairstyle, but in the movie, set in that period, I like it. It's good. So overall, my general impression of that movie was 10 out of 10. I would definitely go see it again if I had the opportunity, and I probably will watch it again when it comes out on Netflix or DVD or whatever. I'm, I will watch it again, and I will listen to the songs for ever. Because it was really good, and it was everything I wanted it to be, and I just sat there at the end, and the credits were going on, just smiling and listening to the song with the credits. It just, it was so magical, I guess, is the word. Disney is amazing. Disney is awesome. Disney has changed my life. Disney. Thank you, Disney. Keep being weird, you guys. See you next week.